How's it going boys and girls, MBPP here today and um, usually for my videos I'll be doing something stupid or playing a game or whatever really, but um, just also saying I'm not a daily uploader if you haven't noticed, like you probably thought I have been by the rate of videos I do, but anyways, um, this is going to be like one of the serious videos because like I, as most people know, am Australian. Um, Australia, I don't even know how to say it correctly. <laughs> I live in Australia. Now, one of the topics that's been going around, which has kind of been, um, I'd say this, uh, it's been worrying me. It's like, I feel like it's going to happen, or it could happen at any second. So, yeah, I might as well just say it. This, what I'm talking about is North Korea threatening Australia with nuclear warfare. Now you're probably thinking, is this true? I thought they were going to do that to the US. Uh, no. They are going to nuke Canberra, or threatening to nuke Canberra, which is basically where the main part of the government is, I think, in Australia. Now if they take out the government, that could lead to anarchy and the whole country could go to hell. Now I don't like talking about this subject, I don't like being serious. Believe it or not. Like, they are accusing Australia of blindlessly and ceaselessly towing the US line. And, as I've said, they threaten a nuclear strike on one of America's chief allies in the Pacific region, which is us, Australia. I always like. It's kind of, as I said, it's been a chip on my shoulder. I'm trying to concentrate on like making videos, but like this thing that a nuke could hit Canberra at any time is like it's kind of scary to think, believe it or not. Like try sleeping knowing that your country could be nuked at any second. Yeah. Now, my thought on this is like if Kim Jong Un actually does this. The country could be screwed, but at the same time, his country will get screwed by others, because like what he's doing is making his little like, oh fuck, I don't even know how to say. It. He thinks that he's the chief of all countries just because he is the largest nuclear arsenal. Now he may have the largest nuclear arsenal of weaponry, but yeah, I'm kind of think. He wouldn't do this, but knowing he's the craziest person in the world to execute people in the streets just for looking differently, for getting investigated for smudging a painting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he might just freaking <whistles> bye bye Australia. Now, I don't like this idea. Like, I think Trump and one of the Australian official um, prime ministers has spoken. Uh, Donald Tur no something Turnbull. I don't know his name. Like I'm not old enough to do uh, democratic stuff yet because like I'm only 16. I should be 18 to vote. But yeah, um, it's kind of hard to think. Even like you look at the picture of the nuclear weapon, like the warhead that they could be using. It's like it's massive. It is seriously massive. And it's kind of scary. Like, sleeping, knowing that your country could be nuked at any second, is kind of scary. But yeah, like, I try sleeping nowadays, and that's kind of difficult. But, uh, I don't know how to say it. Like, if I ever do stop making videos for a long period of time after, like, say Australia's been nuked, just, like, know that um, I did care about each and every single one of you. And yeah, but that's just in the meantime. You know, it's like... <sighs> I don't like this stupid idea of nuking a country just because, like, they've been in an alliance with another country for years. Like, America and Australia have fought together in wars. Like... 
the Kokoda Trail, I think the American troops were br brought in to help the Australian ones when the Britain British ones weren't available. Like, many wars, Australia and America have teamed up. Not teamed up like, uh, we're going to take out the country together. Like, they've helped each other, ceaselessly. But, uh, it's just stupid to know that somebody would nuke a freaking country. Like, we are the, we're the lucky country from what I've heard. We have no wars. Like, we have no nuclear weaponry at all. Why would you do that to someone that hasn't even started a war with nobody? Stupid. But, like, this is my personal opinion. I don't like talking about this stuff because it really... It sets my time bomb off. I really hate it. Now, when I was a child, I wanted to join the military. Like, that was my long-life dream. And I didn't do it because, like... I'm pretty sure as soon as I step on the battlefield, I'm going to get hit. Kim Jong-un has ex executed people for no absolute reason. He has investigated a person for smudging a painting. That's how crazy he is. But I'm just saying this in my opinion. Like, this is all what I think. You guys can think a different thing. Like, honestly, this is my feedback on what I'm thinking. If the day does come when he sends a freaking nuke, he's going to be screwed by Russia. If he attacks America, Russia's going to come in, then China maybe, and it's going to be World War Three. And I'm seriously sick of these World War Three jokes saying, Alright, let's look in a mirror and it says, what? Uh, things are closer than they appear. World War Three. Now, I'm pretty sure World War Three shouldn't be something funny to joke about. I'm sorry, I just don't like this bloody subject. Most people know me as a calm guy. Like, I like to make jokes in my videos. I like to have a laugh. But, like, this is a serious topic. I don't like talking about this stuff. <sighs> Fucking hell. Like, right. imagine you're in my position. You're sleeping at night, you're trying to sleep. Now, the only thing that's stuck in your head is, like, any day, any second, a nuke to go. <whistles> bye bye country. Welcome to anarchy. Where everyone's going to be ceaselessly trying to kill each other for survival. Yeah. Now. Let's try to calm this situation down a bit. Now. We know the original wars. World War 2, World War 1. Now those look. Those took forever. Now, who remembers Hitler? I do. I remember Hitler. He was one crazy son of a bitch. Now, he killed, I think, hundreds of thousands of Jewish people, which was really wrong. Uh, turn them to dust. Anyways, who is crazier? Hitler? Or Kim Jong? -un? Hmm. Alright. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but, like, I think Kim Jong Un assassinated his brother. Or was it someone assassinated his brother? I don't know. Anyways, that was just a rumor I heard. As I'm stating, this is my opinion, this is what I think. If you can disagree, but you know what I'm talking about. This is my opinion. Now, honestly, if someone could be that crazy enough to investigate someone for a long ass time for smudging a painting, to execute someone in the streets or anything for like spitting or disobeying an order, that's pretty darn wrong, like, that's a dictatorship. No. If you're thinking, oh, Ambi, um, why are you getting into democratic and public speaking type things, like, governmental stuff? Now, if you look up my school record, which none of you will, <laughs> uh, you'll never be able to find it. I'll make sure of that. Um, I failed history. Well, I didn't fail it, like, I got a D, um... Anyways, I know my history that I actually care about. Now, I don't care about oil uh, dates. I don't care about when earthquakes started. I don't care about that. What I do care about is, like, what's happening now, what's happening here.
guys like Honestly, like, the day does come when they do send the warheads, and like, my video stop, just know that, <sighs> alright, now, I don't know if this will happen, I don't like talking about this subject, I've just spoken about this like three times now, but yeah. Why would somebody execute someone in the streets for looking differently? That's what's still on my mind. What's on my mind mostly is about this whole utter bullshit. Now, I don't swear for utter stupid reasons unless I'm playing horror games and I'm getting scared. I don't swear unless I'm at school as well. This is utter bullshit. Now, I like being calm. I like talking. I like joking. But this is bullshit. If you think you can nuke a country that has no nuclear warheads at all, that hasn't started a war with anyone, that only, like, he's, they're in an alliance with a different country. Like, alright, uh, you're in an alliance with America, um, we're gonna fuck you over just to show that, uh, we're boss and we're gonna scare America by taking out a country. Just, why? What is the point in scaring a country that is... We're the lucky country. We have no wars. Like, yes, we've had a few wars, but that was in the past. We didn't use nuclear warheads. Like, we have none at all. And you think you can take us out. It's pretty stupid, in my opinion. Anyways, um, that was my whole opinion on this World War Three thing. Um, I guess, thanks for listening. And catch you guys in a better video. Bye-bye.